our intention for a while now to create a quick start video for Bajorja. We've had a lot of questions about how to route the modulators to the operators and we hope that this tutorial video will give you a better understanding of how to get your sounds up and running. So here we have Bajorja. The main thing to note are the operators in the middle of the synthesizer. We have operator 1 at the top middle and operator 2 below that. The very top and bottom of the synthesizer is where you will find the modulators for each operator. Each of the modulation sections has three pages for modulator 1, 2 and 3. For this tutorial we'll just concentrate on the top set of modulators and operator 1. So I've brought the volume of operator 2 down. So we only have operator 1. And this is where we change operator 1's volume envelope. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll leave the sustain all the way up and bring the other controls down. Select waveforms on the left. And next to that, you can change the pitch. To the right of this, you have the pitch envelope for operator 1. You can also fix the pitch of the operators and the modulators. In the middle of operator 1 you will find the white rotary that sets the FM depth for the incoming signal from the modulator section above it. If we turn this all the way up, we will hear the effect of the incoming signal at its fullest. However, the strength of the signal is set by the modulation's ADSR envelopes, the first of which on each of the modulators is sent directly to the operator below it. The purpose of this tutorial will set the amount on the envelopes to full. Now if we adjust the ADSR settings, We can change the attack on the modulation amount. Changing the pitch. So that's how modulator 1 affects operator 1. You've probably noticed that modulator 1 also has its own FM depth rotary. This is to set the depth of the incoming signal from modulators 2 and 3. So if we click on modulator 2, we'll see an extra envelope has been added. The first envelope again is sent to operator 1. The second envelope this time is sent to modulator 1. So if we change the operator 1 envelope on modulator 2, again this relies on the FM depth on operator 1. Now if we focus on the second envelope and turn the amount all the way up, we're now sending the signal to modulator 1. As with the first envelope, we change the envelope settings to shape the sound. So next we move on to modulator 3. We set the FM depth to modulator 2 to maximum, allowing us to hear the full effect. We then select the modulator 3 edit page, which brings up another three envelope generators. The first for operator 1. The second sent to modulator 1. And 
the very last one is sent to modulator 2. We repeat the steps from before and change the amount on the envelope. And then the other controls. George's modulation relies on two things, the FM depth being set and the envelope generators being set so that the signal can be sent to the operators. Operator 2 and the modulators below it are identical to what we've just been through.